Hey guys, getting ready to do a little more preseason prep here. Going to put some Stealth Strips by Stealth Outdoors on my Lone Wolf Climbing Sticks today. First, we'll just go over what you're going to need to complete this project. One, going to need climbing sticks. Stealth Outdoors does make Stealth Strips for a few other climbing stick models. So if you don't have Lone Wolf Sticks, you can check out their website and see if they have Stealth Strips for your sticks. Second, I have a cordless drill. I have a 7 16 inch bit driver on that. That's just gonna make taking the hardware off the sticks easier. I have a 7 16 inch combination wrench. I have an Allen wrench for the Allen bolts on the Lone Wolf Sticks. I have some isopropyl alcohol and a rag. I'm gonna use that to clean the sticks. Once the hardware is removed, take the dirt and any grease off of them. Got four stealth strips here. This is the Stratic camo pattern. I really like it. I've, I've had these before on an old set of climbing sticks that I ended up selling and it looks really good on the tree. So first, if anyone's curious, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh just the stealth strips to let you know what kind of weight you're gonna add. So I've got four stealth strips here, enough to cover all my climbing sticks. Go ahead and put them on. And it's coming in at 0.4 pounds, so less than a half a pound, you can add these to your climbing sticks. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and disassemble one of my climbing sticks. I've done this before. I recommend only disassembling one stick at a time. That way you'll have a model reference from your other climbing sticks and you won't confuse your hardware. It's just a lot easier to do one at a time, at least for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disassemble these now. Okay, now that I've got the stick disassembled, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with rubbing alcohol just to clean off any dirt or oils. Now that I have my stick clean, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my stealth strip. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the camo side down and remove the backing. So now that I have the stealth strip face down with the backing removed, the adhesive side up, I want my seam of my stealth strip to be on the back side of my stick in the middle. Now once you've disassembled the stick, if you're unsure which side is the back side, it's the side that has the larger hole. As you can see on this side, we have uniform holes. On the back side, there's one larger hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the back side because that's where I want my seam to be. And I'm only gonna overlap half of the stick. So it's gonna run down, the seam of the stealth strip is gonna run down the center line of the stick. And something I should mention is that I like to install the stealth strips on a large level surface. That's going to aid in installation, especially if you're doing this by yourself. Because what I'm going to do is press the stick on and then I'm essentially going to wrap it up. So remember, again, only overlap half to start with if you want the seam and centered on the back side of your stick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. Once I have the stick lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and press down firmly. And if you're worried again about dirt or oils, probably should be wiping the stick down. But the adhesive on the stealth strip is super strong. My last set of climbing sticks, I actually had the stealth strips on for over five years and the sticks wore out before the adhesive did. So this is pretty industrial stuff. So now that I have my first seam laid down, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the stick. So just press down and roll your stick. Go ahead and press down along the length of the stick. Make sure that's adhered well. Pull it towards you, roll it again. Press down, make sure it's on there good. Roll it again. So you can see now the seams on there centered in the back. So I'm gonna press this down. Roll it again, press down. And there you can see, I ended up with a nice seam on the back side, lined up well. So once I have the stealth strip applied to the stick, I'm just gonna use my fingers and go over the entire length of the stick to make sure that it's adhered well. There we go. Now the stealth strip is applied. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the holes for the hardware. One thing I did forget to mention is that I like to use a quarter inch drill bit to remove the stealth strip material from the holes in the sticks. 
that's the same size hole that's already there. And it's a lot easier than using an X-Acto knife or razor or some other method to open the holes back up. So if you don't have a quarter inch drill bit, go ahead and get one. I have one now and I'm going to go ahead and put the holes through the cell strip material. Okay, I've got all my holes drilled through the stealth strip material. I'm going to go ahead and get an X-Acto knife and just clean up the little tag ends. Okay, now my stealth strip is installed, I'm ready to go ahead and reassemble it with the hardware. Alright, as mentioned, I'd like to leave all my other sticks assembled and this is why. So now that I have the stick covered in stealth strip and the holes opened up, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the other sticks as a template to put this one back together. And again, there's only one large hole on a lone wolf stick, so I'm going to use that as my guide. So that is up, so I'm going to put that in this orientation. I'm going to find the large hole on my stick, which is right here. Get it in the same orientation. And now by looking at this stick as a model, it'll be easy to reassemble. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble the sticks now. Okay, now I've got my stealth strip installed and my stick completely re reassembled. So what are the advantage of stealth strips? Well, here's a piece of metal, metal on metal, not so good. Metal on stealth strip, much more acceptable. It's gonna help prevent noise if you accidentally hit your buckle on the stick, carrying your sticks in and out of the woods, it's gonna be quieter. And the camo also helps the stick blend into the tree even better than they already do. So overall, this is a great product at a really reasonable price. I think it's one of the best upgrades you can do as a mobile hunter, aside from uh, having a cast stand or high quality stand and good climbing sticks. Stealth strips are huge if you're hunting close to bedded bucks and in bedding areas to help you get in and set up as quietly as possible. All right, the last thing I'm gonna to do to silence my setup is I purchased these buckle silencers. This is another product by Stealth Outdoors. Basically, it's just another piece of Stealth strip, but it has this felt layer here. This is gonna lay over the buckle and the adhesive part is gonna go on each side of the buckle. So you're gonna basically remove the adhesive, apply it here. The felt part will go over the buckle itself. And then the other piece of adhesive will go on the other side of the buckle. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this portion of the strap. I'm gonna get the buckle cleaned up with alcohol and I'm gonna go ahead and install the buckle silencers now. So once the alcohol is dried, just go ahead and remove the adhesive. Once you've removed the adhesive, I find it easiest to place the stealth strip face down with the adhesive side up and then take your buckle and place it on that way you can get it placed correctly. Go ahead and press that down. And while I have it on this side, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to trim off the small area of adhesive that's left so that doesn't attract additional dirt or debris. There, now I have that all trimmed out and I shouldn't be getting any extra debris on the side of my buckle. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process, just remove the adhesive and apply the other side. Yeah, once that's applied good, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the other side of the buckle now. All right, now I have my Stealth Outdoors buckle silencer installed and I'm gonna show you the advantages of having these installed. So here is a bare stick that I haven't stealth stripped yet with the metal buckle. It's pretty easy to bang these accidentally when you're hanging in your stand, especially if you're near a buck bedding area. So here is the buckle with the stealth strip installed now. I mean, absolutely a world of difference. When you combine the stealth stripped buckle with the stealth stripped stick, it's gonna be the ultimate combination and quiet. So again, highly recommend these great products. And Lou, the owner of Stealth Outdoors, is a great person to work with and has always provided excellent customer service. So can't recommend them enough. If you're trying to get into mobile hunting and quiet down your setup, check out Stealth Outdoors and get yourself some stealth strips and some stealth buckle silencers. Great stuff. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thanks.